On Sunday, we went to Tynecastle to see Motherwell take on Hearts in a match that was a mid-table six-pointer. Hearts versus Motherwell is usually a feisty encounter, and I don't think Sunday was any exception. checking it after the red card decision that was given by the referee. Hey! Go on Shields, go on hit him again! Connor! Yes! Come on! Yes! What? Is that Connor? It hit off Andy Haldi's face! It's unjust that Hearts got that goal. Uh, okay, they have been slicing us apart. Going forward. 
but I think on the counter we've been okay as well but we've not been as dangerous as Hearts have but at the same time the corner that was the origin of this goal that we conceded right in half time it should not have been a corner it genuinely hit off Andy Halliday's face and went out for a goal kick now I know VAR isn't the purpose of VAR isn't to double check for corners or goal kicks or just the, the menial things in football but at the same time that was a major decision and yes we should have defended from that corner but at the same time if we had got a goal kick from that we wouldn't have conceded so I think we've got every right to feel a, a bit hard done by but at the same time Hearts are down to 10 men it hasn't looked it since they got the, ma the man sent off I don't even know who it was that got sent off but it doesn't matter now, I think it was a midfielder yeah. Grant yeah that's it even the message is connected me now. It's just exactly. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, uh, bring on the second half. We are far from out of this. We just have to make make the most of our numerical advantage and hopefully get back into the match. I'm on the wheel. Here comes another 45 minutes of hell. Hook it to my veins. Well. That's Wait, 
Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, please. Come on. Gordon doing an awful lot of time wasting for a player that's on a yellow card. Just a bit. Just a bit. Just a bit. Yes. Yes. Back him. Oh man. Yes. Come on. Yes. Too comfortable on the ball either. Number 20 for them. Fuck off. Oh, no way. Penalty. Oh, I can't believe it. They didn't even need VAR, that's how you accepted they wore it was a penalty. Yeah! You bastard! You bastard! thing about this is we don't deserve to lose this game. We may not deserve to win it but we don't deserve to lose it. Honestly, I 
I'm actually worn out after watching that on Sunday. Uh, two o'clock on Monday, I, I genuinely had to, had to have a lie down after watching such a pulsating fixture and there was no other word to describe it. Even, like, I mean, the first half hour, it took, it took Mother to actually... It took us a while to grow into the game, but when we did, I thought we competed with Hearts and, yeah, it may have taken till the red card, but I still think we had enough chances to take something from the game. Um, but Hearts having that man sent off didn't affect them. I don't think it affected them at all. Uh, Grant got sent off and then they actually upped their levels of performance and got the goal and they have to. Now, at the time, I thought it was a goal kick that we should have got that led to the corner. But from my footage, it looked like it hit off Kevin Van Veen and went out for a corner. Uh, I'll, I'll leave that for you to decide yourself. But cor corner comes in. We don't deal with it. Halliday is literally sandwiched between Saul and Lamy. And he still beats them both to the header. And it's, it's actually annoying because I am, I'm going to the open goal recording tonight and Andy Halliday's probably going to be there and he's going to be cheesing his face off and it's just going to be unbearable. But anyway, um, yeah, so we go in 1-0 down at half time. It was an average first half. Wasn't as entertaining as the second, obviously. But we start off so slowly in that second half. We genuinely let the ball trickle into our box from Ginelli and we didn't we didn't deal with it. Barry Mackay picks it up, does a 1-2, plays a great through ball and Halliday, okay, the pass was deflected. Halliday is there again to finish with a plum. It was a fantastic goal. I mean, fantastic finish. But the goal we conceded from a defensive perspective, it was a terrible goal to concede. I mean, Solholm is about 10 yards off the pace and he's sucked into the middle of the park and when he really should be about 5 to 10 yards further out. And it's just frustrating because that's what lost us the game, that moment there. Because if we hadn't conceded in the first five minutes of the second half, then and just sort of eased back into the second half, then I think we'd have won the game. But of course, ifs, ifs, buts and maybes. I mean, Stevie Hamill being a defender in his past career and his team conceded three goals against 10 men, it's not a very good look, is it? But anyway, we come back into the game. Uh, we bring on Louis Moult, which he should... I'm sorry, but we should have made the changes at half time. If you're a goal down and a man up, I'm a strong believer in changing it at half time when you've got everyone in the dressing room. But that didn't happen. And then we go and get back into the game. We score to make it 2-1. Uh, there is rumour about a double jeopardy rule that it, for Craig Gordon got booked for descent at the red card. But him on a booking, he makes that challenge on Lou Moult and Lou Moult wins a penalty. It was a penalty in my opinion. It was withheld by the referee because of some sort of double jeopardy rule I've seen online being floated about, but that had to be a second yellow. If that was in a, a different part of the pitch, then it's a yellow card. Okay, maybe the goalkeeper's not going to be at the halfway line, unless you're David Marshall in the Euros, but still, that, in my opinion, shouldn't shouldn't matter. That That is a yellow card. When Craig Gordon had been booked for descent at the red card, he was also mourning his face off at the referee throughout the whole penalty decision awarding at VAR. If that's not dissent, I don't know what is. He should be sent off. Hart should have been playing with nine men for half of the second half. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. And then Kevin Van Veen scores that thunderbolt of a volley and he is literally just offside like it was a definite offside unfortunately but see if see if that had been that that, that would have been one of the greatest goals i've ever seen if if that had counted that would been even better than ryan bowman's volley in the cup game at Tynecastle castle a few years ago player spittle equalizes and 
rightfully so, we continue to press because we were in the ascendancy and then Hearts get a penalty. And it was a definite penalty, penalty. and I feel like Saul is a scapegoat in this vlog because um, I, I've already picked up on him being out of position for a couple of things. Um, and him with the arm out, it's, it's a definite penalty and I, I have no complaints in the decision. Uh, we just had to defend better. And Shanklin scores to make it 3-2. After that... Craig Gordon makes a fantastic save from Sean Gossie's effort from outside the box. Dare I say though, if Craig Gordon had been sent off, I don't think Xander Clark would have had the cojones to make such a brilliant save in the last minute. But anyway, that's by the by. We lost 3-2. I don't think either side deserved to lose anything from that game uh, because it was... Honestly, one of the best games I've seen in a while. Speaking on the assumption that there were neutrals at the game, they'd have probably found the game to be enthralling and ups and downs and so much of adversity and controversy in such a fixture. That that game was box office. I'm not having people slag me off for this game. This game was a fantastic game to watch and I am pleased to have been there to witness it because it was genuinely entertaining that was that that game summed up scottish football for me in a nutshell it was one of the best games i've seen live and i think like i wouldn't be slagging anyone off of, to be on the losing side because that was fucking heartbreaking that was genuinely heartbreaking celtic at home on wednesday we've got a great opportunity to right our wrongs from sunday's fixture and then we've got st johnson away on saturday but anyway guys thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Take care.